All right, you're checking out Pop Culture POV. We are here with Hollywood Leon uh, of the podcast, Everyone is Terrible. He's also an actor. Uh, if you want to get more information on his career, his journey, think about it like this. True Hollywood story meets behind the music. We talk with Hollywood Leon. You could, you could access that on the Randomly with Ronnie Jr. podcast, which is on randomlyronniejr.com. Uh, he's maneuvering his microphone. He's all set. And he's set to talk about one intriguing thing. Um, pop culture has hit a bit of a reboot. Tell me what you're talking about, Leon. Well, you know, I was just looking at that picture of Britney Spears, Paris Hilton. And um, who else? Lindsay Lohan. In that. <laughs> Lindsay Remember Lohan. that picture of in them the in 2007? Yeah. There's this picture of them in like a two seater, three people in a two seater, which is already a lot. And it's Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, and Paris Hilton. And it's like an iconic photo representing 2007. And so I was just thinking, I think we're, I think we're there. I think we have come full circle. And I think all is right in the world because Paris Hilton is now married. <laughs> she's married, yep. Free Britney. She's now freed and she's out. And Lindsay Lohan is starring in a new Netflix Christmas movie. So and apparently like, she's on, yeah, she's on time to set. So there you go. <laughs> That I'm is happy. nostalgia. Uh, say it I'm, again. I'm happy about this. That is nostalgia if you ever knew it. Obviously, those were sometimes good and bad. You know, that was TMZ emerging, uh, per, uh, per, Perez Hilton sort of emerging. Um, so it was a little messy. But yeah, you want to see people go through what they went through um, and then kind of get a, a crossover on the other side and, and have a, have a, have a reboot, if you will. So yeah, it's the reboot. <laughs> it's the brand new, um, brand new day. Um, what it's is it about those- the way we treated celebrities in 2007, the way we treat them now, is just a vast difference. Like people like Perez Hilton got their start by, you know, drawing penises on people's pictures, being mean and people loved it. And now it's totally a different time. We do not like that sort of evolution. You know, I like I mean? the so way I people we, are pulling back a little based yeah. on what you're saying. Are you referencing Britney Spears, the documentary where they kind of showed what she would go through as far as paparazzi? Is that kind of what you're referencing? Kind of the, yeah, the machine exactly. that it was? Yeah. Be, well, you know, there's so many layers to it because I, I feel like Paris Hilton created social media in my opinion she is the reason that we have the selfie that we have all that crazy um madness when it comes to pop culture and fashion and idolism yeah she was a she was a socialite but like socialites in the yesteryear were a little more refined she was like this new coming of yeah but yeah. she took everything that people love about fandom like you know there's always been idolism like people love like Backstreet Boys and Sync, and we were like kids when that, that was happening. So I'm like, Paris Hilton took all of that and channeled it into putting it into a brand. And I feel like that's why social media is huge because of Paris Hilton. Um, there's a documentary called, oh shit, what is it called? I think it's called, I think it's called Social Media actually. It's on Netflix. It came out and, a year ago uh, or something like that. Yeah. And it oh, yeah, talks yeah. About, social, social experiment. Yeah, I know. Yes, what you're about. exactly. And that is basically explaining how Paris Hilton put social media on the map. And so everybody gained traction from this. Britney Spears was chased and followed, just kind of like a modern uh, Princess Diana. And then Lindsay Lohan crashed and burned from all of that and came out like a party animal drug addict. And we all saw it because it was being documented. So I just think that it's just, it's crazy how we don't treat people that way anymore. It's kind interesting of. too, because I, like I say, sometimes I get a little bit of a uh, critique from colleagues, you know, cause I'm always, you know, bringing up yesteryear. Cause that's, I'm just, a, I'm just an old, you know, been around, I've been around for a while here. Started well, we my career. nostalgia. Well, no, yeah. And I'm always like mentioning it. And sometimes I feel like people are like, oh, it's a complaint. It's not a complaint at all. What it is, is I was there when you actually, if you did do something wild on air, 
you know, in the vein of Wendy Williams has been wild forever. There's always been shock jocks forever. But what was different is you had to also still walk those halls. You still had to make sure the the everything was intact with the brand of the radio station. You had to make sure the advertisement was not being pulled. So I when when I'm the old head and people are like, oh, Ronnie, you're just complaining because you're not hot on TikTok. I don't care. But and by the way, I'm now in podcasting and I'm doing doing good. But I just I think it should be stated that we saw it happen. And like you just said a bit ago, we let it happen. It didn't have to be like that. Like it had was always the stars were the stars and they got attention. But then it became we want to see like the fact that fire crotch was like a unnamed hashtag is pretty nasty, you know, and that comes from TMZ that comes from uh, Paris. uh, What's his name? Perez Hilton. And, you know, uh, it was always interesting, the duality between the traditional media people and the people who were just on the Internet. In fact, I was watching recently um, American Crime Story, and I felt like they played this interesting duality between uh, Billy Eichner played um, Matt Drudge from the Drudge Report and how news used to be vetted and stories used to be vetted and how there was a there was a little conversation between Matt Drudge and I can't remember the other guy from Newsweek. And the guy from Newsweek was like, you can't go with that story. I haven't finished it. It's not vetted. And Matt Drudge, I think his name is Matt, was like, who cares? I'm posting it. And the credible uh, you know, broadcaster or writer kind of had an issue with that. And I remember the internet guy saying, you know, Drudge saying, if it's the internet, why do you care? And it was those moments when, when all this was happening, you know, Monica Lewinsky, Bill, Bill Clinton, that we said, we are fine with letting unmerited, is that the word merited, uncredibly sourced, um, you know, stories go out on all these platforms because it's our entertainment. We thought that was okay. It was never okay, Leon. It was never okay. <laughs> and you know what? Now it's time for Monica Lewinsky to get her redemption. And then everything will be right in the world. It's not just right yet. Um, so maybe I'm taking it back, but I'm just glad that Britney Spears <laughs> is free. Paris Hilton found love in a hopeless place. And Lindsay Lohan, you know, the burning crotch, that's all been redeemed from the dancing in Mykonos. Now she's on a Netflix film. So uh, Merry Christmas to Lindsay Lohan. But yeah, you know what? We need to do something about Monica Lewinsky, the way the world treated her. The way the world treated that woman. Terrible. The way I will say, um, I've watched three of the American crime stories, the OJ one, the Versace one. Versace one being my favorite. I mean, the Versace one, I could still watch in sequential order again and again it was very I good love that one wasn't it good oh my Ugh. like we'll have to talk off air that was that was uh that was something this one was good did you watch the newest installment the, i haven't the, seen it okay I you, seen then it. i think you're gonna feel a little bit of this redemption you're talking about by way of the way <laughs> that's not a sentence by by the way they, the story was told you you might be into it but yeah leanne's right um 2007 we were um, maybe, I don't know if we were doing sidekicks still, you know, people had sidekicks. It was just such a different era. You know, uh, some of the guys, the cool guys would wear the big jerseys like Von Dutch It Von Dutch <laughs> came and gone. I think there's a documentary about that too. There is. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Um, but I guess the moral of this pop culture story is that there is this epic photo of the three of them. Everyone has went through their journey. And I guess what Leon is saying, Hollywood Leon from everyone is terrible is saying, is that we get on the other side and all is good with the world. Right People now. can go through shitty times and come out on top. I'm just so happy for these three girls that were in this two seater car. I love Brittany so much. And I'm glad that she's doing good. And that Paris has always been great coming in. She's a great, great TV person. I mean, she started the simple life and now the cooking with Paris was fantastic. And I haven't seen her wedding show but i'm gonna dive in it's on peacock and then as far as lindsay lohan you know we haven't had a good time for a while yeah i I do do like yeah you know hopefully this movie will bring us a christmas cheer she um maybe at one point she took herself less seriously so maybe that was the redemption route for her too um i guess you know we'll see um Yes, per, uh, Paris Hilton as a reality star, like a celebrity reality star, sort of changed the game because then you have, you know, um, Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson, the Osbournes. I forgot 
Dave Navarro and Carmen Electra had a reality show. Like oh it became God. such a thing. Um, maybe one day we'll have to revisit you and I will have a little conversation about celebrities doing reality shows and has that, that time come like and gone about on our last chat that we had about, you know, like Bravo with the spinoffs and stuff like this is the last grasp is when you're intermingling. And I, I remember there was this point where all these nineties musicians and stars all dove into reality TV. It yeah. was their, their next thing from the Electras to the Simpsons to all that stuff. What a crazy time in the world. Yeah. It's like everything in abundance. It's, it's too much. You know, I thought Dave Navarro and Carmen Electra were very funny, but you know, now it just turns into anyone with any kind of name. Here's a show. And you know, I, I think there's other great reality shows that could be made. So maybe that's where we're going. Maybe housewives is on its way out. And I still always say I'm making the band. I mean, uh, an artist house type of thing is still like the way to go. It, that's what we want to see. Cause let me tell you, is if I'm the going, encore. Yes, I saw it. I watched every Aubrey episode. O'Day. Like it's back. They're I should ask you who should... the band is back, but you know what? The magic is it's just not there. Like we can remake these reality shows, but the magic of what we were getting back in the day, like it's just not there. That I hate to say what I'm going to say, and this is not a let's choose younger cast members, because again, I'm all for 45, 55 year old plus, maybe not for a pop star, of course, but maybe it's not bringing Aubrey O'Day back, which I hate that I'm saying that because she's one of my favorite. She, along with like a Tammy Roman, Erica Mena, these are like the queens of reality TV as far as I'm concerned. But maybe they go into a making the band an encore or something like that. But just we can't keep recycling people. That's that's exactly. I guess what well, yeah. we, that's what we do. That's what Hollywood does. Hollywood well, recycles everything from movies to series to ideas to people. Well, here's the problem, Leanne, and we'll wrap out because this is about kind of recapping that epic picture. Brittany, uh, Lindsay and Paris. But um, I will wrap out with this. It's like we were talking about on our other chat, um, which is available at randomlyronniejr.com and my Patreon. Um, it's I was mentioning something to you, and I don't know if you really like, I know you got what I was saying, but let's just reiterate. I was saying, because you just mentioned right now that everyone's doing the same thing. It's a lot of copying. It's like there's a time where Cardi B can't, can't get in. And then once she gets in, Everyone needs a Cardi B type. I mentioned on our last podcast that Leon is a bit different. Not like you're the craziest thing or just the most unique human, but I, I love what you're doing. But it's kind of like until you break through and when you break through, there's going to be a lot of like, oh, we, we need our Hollywood Leon. And that exactly. bugs me. That is that's what this industry is. You know, it's very much, you know. I mean, I watched uh, the episodes of uh, Cardi B, her first season, and it was a lot of no, 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 you're never going to make it. No, no, never yeah. going to make it. And then she makes it. And then every network has to have their version. So I, I give a lot of hope that I'm like, I think, well, for one, I know I'm talented. Um, I know you're talented. And it's just breaking in is interesting. And then once you break in, then all of a sudden, everyone's like, I need a Ronnie type. <laughs> it's like, I Titus the whole Burgess from... Um... Oh, Kimmy the, Schmidt and, and everything Kimmy, else. The Kimmy Schmidt and everything. Yeah, you're right. He goes and he's talked about going to audition for shows where it says Titus Burgess type. And it's wow. like, I'm fucking Titus. What are you talking about? Like, my, yeah. I'm Titus. I am the guy. And I'm auditioning for my type. Like, I, I, I'm him. I mean, I think to a degree, <laughs> the Billy Porter type is now going to be a Billy Porter type, which is such a shame. Um, uh, not that we didn't like him in what was it? Uh, the baseball Ooh. movie, okay. Hearts Club. What's it called? Broken Hearts Club. The Broken Hearts. What Club, a freaking like... cute movie! I rewatched recently. So um, good. I'm not looking with like a heavy lens, but I don't think there was anything problematic. It just still no, made me feel it good. Was it's so a you know, good. Are you kidding? Yeah, me? we could. It's it's cute, and um. So of course we've always known of him, and he's he's done okay. But now all of a sudden, pose hits, and it's well, of course, Kinky Boots and all these other things too, but. Now it's like we need our Billy Porter type. It's just such a slap in the face for the arts, you know. Um, but I, I want to keep hope alive for everyone who is pursuing something that uh, there's there's room for everybody. So let's all keep going. And then uh, when there's not room for us, we'll just talk about rich ass Paris Hilton and her freaking luxury. <laughs> Leanne, you're Paris. amazing. Any Thank last you. last words? Uh, no, you know what? I'm, I'm just a fan and I'm thankful for your support. 
and your friendship. And uh, thanks for thanks for having me. All right. And if I sound weird, it's because I'm getting Invisalign right now. <laughs> so the only thing straight about me is going to be my teeth. Oh yes, yes, he's he's gay AF. Yes, um, we all are. <laughs> uh, with the Invisalign, I actually thought you were doing like a like a sophisticated voice. I was like, oh, what is this voiceover? No, in those situations. I have these things attached to my teeth. Okay. And I can only take them out to eat and drink. And if I take them out other than to eat and drink, then I can't move on to my next tray every two weeks. And I have to keep them mm. in longer. And then when I put the new ones in, it hurts. So I'm just like, I, I have to just be strict about it. So even on my Clueless podcast, I had to shout that out. I'm like, <laughs> if you hear a lisp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the, extra. It's not the typical extra. homosexual list, but no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I love the way you handled the Christian uh, uh, character. I thought that was great. Thank uh, you. Hollywood Leon, he did. Um, he collaborated with another podcaster where they revisited Clueless. And that's the kind of work that Hollywood Leon does. It's, it's very fun. Again, we're different in ages. So sometimes I don't always get your, 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 your beats and tone, but uh, generally it's pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, you're having a glow up year. And the teeth are going to be nice and the body's going to be, you, I mean, watch out, Tammy Roman. Maybe you'll be the next, the next uh, reality superstar down the road in 30 years. So, um, all right. Gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.